Um, today I've got a short gentle yoga sequence that's designed specifically for reducing stress and relieving anxiety. And this is an all levels flow, so even if you haven't done any yoga before, give this a try, or alternatively check out my other beginner videos on my channel. We're gonna start in the seated position. So kneeling if possible, but if that feels a little bit funky for you, you can just sit cross-legged on the floor. But I recommend placing a towel or a cushion or a little book underneath your sitting bones to gently tip the pelvis forward. It just helps keep the spine nice and straight as we come into our breathing exercises. So if you are kneeling or sitting, it doesn't matter, but just float the eyes closed and just rest the back of your hands down onto the tops of your thighs. Turn the palms up towards the ceiling. And taking just a few moments just to check in and tune in with ourselves. Notice how we're breathing, how we're feeling. Often if we're stressed or anxious, our heart rate is going crazy, which in turn will make our breathing quite shallow and quite quick. So we really want to use this class to slow that right back down again, activate our parasympathetic nervous system, which will really help to calm us down. So sitting the spine up as tall as you can, just to really feel open through the chest and open through the lungs so that we can get as much oxygen in as possible. If you start to slump or round the spine, just check in with your body and just think, no, I need to sit up straighter. This will help you take bigger breaths. Taking one more here. And exhaling it out. And then if, keeping the eyes closed if you can, we're going to interlace the fingers together. So still the palms are up towards the ceiling and the back of our hands are just resting gently on the tops of our thighs. But as we breathe in, we're going to start to float the arms up towards our chest. Once you fill up to the top, flip the palms down towards the thighs again and exhale it down. Flip the palms up and take an inhale. Exhale, flip the palms down, press it down. Once again, flip the palms, lift up. And exhale, and just keeping this movement going. So we're really synchronizing the breath and the movement together. So your breath and rhythm might be slightly different to mine. But just remembering that as you inhale, the palms lift up and as you exhale, the palms press down. So whatever pace you're going at, just keep that movement to your own rhythm. And even though the palms are lifting closer towards the chest, that doesn't mean our shoulders need to get involved. So really just lifting the palms up and relaxing the shoulders down. Exhale. And one more here. Inhale. Fill up the lungs. Big deep breath. Exhale. Flip the palm down and press it down. We're going to go again, but this time if you want to float the eyes open, feel free as we move a little bit stronger into those postures. So as you inhale, lift the palms up towards the chest once again. As you exhale, flip the palms now towards the front of your space, press them towards the front and maybe round your spine towards the back, chin to chest. As you inhale, lift the palms up towards the ceiling, straighten up through the spine and maybe look up towards the back of your palms. And then exhale, open the arms out wide, maybe twinkle the hands down and just floating them alongside your body. So we're gonna take that again. So interlace the fingers, inhale, arms rise. Exhale, flip the palms, press them towards the front, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, lift the arms up towards the ceiling, being careful not to flare the rib cage. So keeping everything tucked in, exhale, open the arms out wide, twinkle those hands down. We're gonna take one more. So interlace the fingers and lift on up. Exhale, press the palms towards the front, round your spine, chin to chest. Inhale, lift, open that chest back up, breathe. 
exhale, twinkle those arms down. Just take a few little roll through the shoulders. A few back, a few forward. We're gonna take a little neck stretch. So just dropping your right ear towards your right shoulder and then taking your right hand all the way over towards your left ear. Extending your left arm out towards the side and maybe just rolling the wrist a few times here just to really get into that neck stretch. And you can gently drop the chin down closer towards the chest if that feels better. Or you can just have the ear parallel to the floor. And then keeping that side bend going over towards the right, you're going to release your right hand down and then lift the left arm all the way up towards the ceiling and then over towards the side. So it's finding that really nice side stretch down the left hand side of the body. Good, breathing deep here. Option to close your eyes at any point, just to feel into these lovely stretches and really connect to our breath. Last one, inhale here. Exhale. So we're gonna take a twist. So bring that arm up towards the ceiling again, and then taking your left arm to the outside of your right knee, slicing it down and taking the right arm behind you, pressing yourself up as we twist around towards the right. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling, good, one more breath, lift up through the crown of the head, come back to centre and then just gently shift your bum over towards the right hand side of you and send your legs out forward in front of you. So I'm going to come back to the front of my mat but you should just be sending your legs out in front of you. Separate the feet about hip width distance apart, pop a little bend through the knees, you can press down through the heels and take the hands behind the back of your pelvis. Fingertips face your bum, press down through the heels of the palms and lift the chest. Inhale here, exhale. Good, one more, press down, lift up. And then release the hands from behind you. Bring the soles of your feet together. It doesn't matter how shallow or wide your diamond is. Take the hands either onto the knees or onto your shins or calves or down onto your ankles. And we're just going to gently bow our head down. So you can feel that stretch through the back of the body, but also the glutes either side of the bum. And we're just going to take a little gentle rock from side to side. Really just easing into the side waist once again. Rounding the spine down. Feeling that heaviness through the upper part of the body. And then bring yourself to centre. Slowly roll yourself up. Bring the knees together. Hug your knees in and take a little hug here. A little bug hug. And again, you can rock from side to side or just grab up as the elbows and just giving yourself a little bit of love here. A nice hug for yourself. And then crossing your ankles, you can come forward and find that kneeling position once again so that we can stretch out the other side of our neck. So dropping our left ear over towards our left shoulder and taking our left arm all the way over towards our right ear as we extend our right arm out towards the side. Again, a little roll through the wrist, a little wriggle, maybe a little tuck of the chin. Whatever feels good for you here. When we do get stressed and anxious, we hold a lot of tension in our upper body. You often see people with their shoulders right up to their ears. So just getting into those spaces to hopefully relieve a little bit of stress. Remove the hand from the ear and drop the left hand down towards the floor. Lift the right arm up towards the ceiling and take a really nice deep side bend. Using that elbow to lower you down if you want. If not, stay nice and tall and just ease into that stretch. Maybe peeking underneath the top arm to look up towards the sky, or you can keep the head down or forward. 
Good, and then we're gonna find that twist over towards the left hand side. So arm comes up towards the ceiling and then slice the back of that right hand to the outside of your left knee. Take the other hand behind you, press down to lift up and twist around. Inhale. Exhale. One more, big deep breath, twist yourself around. Exhale, brings you back to centre. Gently drop your hips over towards the left so you can swing your legs out once again towards the front. Feet about hip or distance apart. This time, bend the knees a lot so you can press the feet down. So rather than the heels just down, now the whole of our feet are down. Fingertips face your bum, lift the chest. Option to stay here or you can press through the feet and find a little lift through the hips as well. If this is too strong for you, I recommend just staying here with the chest lifted, but there's an option to take the head back if you want. Really press down through all four corners of the feet. If you're in that lift through the hips, bring your chin towards your chest, lower your bum down, cross your ankles once again and find a child's pose. So knees about hip width distance apart, sit the bum back onto the heels and send the arms forward towards the front of your space as you can heavy your chest, belly, forehead down. Reaching the arms forward but sinking the bum back. Finding that slow breath. And then gently just wiggle both hands over towards the left hand side of your mat. Stretching down the right hand side of your body. You can maybe grab hold of one wrist. That just helps you find that gentle pull a little bit more. Or you can just allow the hands to be relaxed onto the mat. But there's a little bit of a banana shape for the upper body. One more big deep breath. Coming back through centre. Slowly start to press yourself up to a tabletop position. Take one round of cat-cow. So as you inhale, arch the spine and lift the chest up towards the ceiling. Exhale, tuck the chin in round the spine. Look towards your belly button. Come back to your tabletop position and send your right leg towards the back of the mat. Take a few rocks forward and back here just to gently ease into the wrist and to the ball of the foot. Next time your weight arrives forward, you're going to gently float that right foot off. Not too high, just enough that you can find a little bit of a balance. Take a big breath here. Exhale, round your spine so you can bring your chin towards your chest and bring your knee towards your nose. Look forward and step the right foot in between the hands. You can step it forward with the help of the hand if you need, as you gently walk the hands forward and maybe creep the left knee back. Walk the hands onto your right knee, press down through the hands and lift the chest. Low lunge pose. Roll those shoulders down. So we're going to take that similar breathing technique that we did right at the beginning of class. So interlacing the fingers, start to inhale and lift them up towards the chest. As you exhale, turn the palms towards the front of your space and start to lean forward. So you gently lean over that right thigh. As you lift the arms up towards the ceiling, the spine comes straight. Exhale, take the hands down and take that left hand down towards the left hand side of your mat. Lift your right hand all the way up towards the ceiling and take a little side bend over towards the left. If you can't quite reach the floor, you can hold on to a book or a block and gently find that side stretch. If not, gently press yourself up onto your fingerprints or release the palm down. Wherever you are, you're breathing. Gently lift both arms up towards the ceiling. Take the hands either side of your right foot. Step your right foot back to find a tabletop and then sink your bum back for child's pose. Inhale here. Exhale. Good. Taking the hands over towards the right hand edge of our mat now. Feeling that little banana side stretch for the left hand side of the body. Good, and then wiggling the hands back through centre, pressing yourself up to find tabletop. One round of cat-cow, inhale, drop belly, lift chest. 
Exhale, tuck chin, round spine. Come back to your tabletop and send the left leg back. Gently rocking forward and back so that you can ease into that foot and that hamstring on this leg. And then next time the weight arrives forward, start to float the left leg off. Big breath here. Exhale, round knee to nose. Look forward and then step that right foot, left foot in between the hands. Option to bring it forward with the help of that left hand or you can walk the right foot back. Hands come onto the left knee and gently lift the chest. Gently lift through the heart and then interlace the hands. Inhale, lift the arms up towards the chest. Exhale, flip the palms round the spine, lean over that left leg. Inhale, rise both arms up towards the ceiling. Twinkle your hands down and take your right hand either onto your block or onto the floor. Lift your left arm all the way up towards the ceiling and side bend. Inhale here. Exhale. Good, sinking the hips low. Side bending towards the right. Bring both arms up towards the ceiling. Take the hands down either side of the left foot. Step back to tabletop and child's pose. Take a little breath here, a little rest. We're going to gently slither down onto our belly. So slowly start to lower yourself down onto the mat. Take the hands to the two top corners of your mat, press down through the tops of the feet and then press in towards the fingerprints so you can lift the chest. Exhale, bring the chest down. Point the elbows up towards the ceiling. Let's take another one, inhale, lift. Exhale, down. One more, inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Hands come alongside the chest, press yourself back through a tabletop. We're going to tuck our toes and lift our bum for our first downward facing dog. So just gently pedal out through the legs, ease into it slowly and downward facing dog. We're really pressing through the palms, but our knees can still be soft and our heels can be lifted off the mat. We just want to concentrate on sticking the bum up towards the ceiling. So maybe taking the weight from one foot to the other, maybe stretching one leg and then the other, finding a bit of a twist. Maybe nodding the head so you can release any tension in the neck, shaking it out, release the jaw. And then pausing in your downward facing dog as you inhale, lift the heels off the mat as high as you can, come onto the tips of the toes. As you exhale, we're gonna lower the heels and then bend the knees deeply. Shh. Taking that again. So straighten up, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower the heels and bend. Shh. Last time, press down and then lift up. Exhale. Shh. And straighten up to find your downward facing dog. Bring the feet together. Lift the right leg off the mat just a little bit. Roll through a couple of circles with that right ankle. Big deep breath. Exhale, look forward and step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Drop the left knee down, untuck the toes. We've got three big circles with the right arm. Inhale forward. Exhale, circle it around. Inhale forward. Exhale around. Last one, take it all the way forward, and then we're gonna pause looking towards the back. So really big deep twist, opening up through the chest. You've got an option to bend through that left knee and maybe grab the inside of your left foot if you want a bit of a quad stretch. If not, just keep the shin on the mat and keep looking towards the back. Breathing deep, even though we're in a twist, And then bring both hands on the inside of your right foot. We're going to start to wiggle our right foot over towards our left hand. So we'll need to move our right hand out of the way. And start to lower our right knee towards our right wrist. Finding pigeon pose here. So you might need to adjust your legs. Maybe making the angle of your right knee a little smaller as you send the left leg back. Press up through the fingerprints and up through the chest. And then exhale, start to lower yourself down. So it might be enough for you to stay on your hands or your fingerprints. 
Maybe you wanna come down onto your forearms. Maybe you can come all the way down and rest your head on the back of your hand. Just feeling that lovely deep hip opener, hip stretch for the right hip and the right glute. Try and breathe into that intensity that might be brewing. Inhaling. Exhaling. And we're trying to focus on your body. So rather than focusing on any stresses or anxieties that might be happening in your world at the moment, just try and be here and now in this position on this mat. You've got one more breath. Good, start to bring yourself up if you were down onto the floor. Gently rock your weight over so you can sit onto your right bum cheek and then open the legs out towards the side. So as wide as you can go, but don't cause your hips any extra stress. Point the toes up towards the ceiling. Gently start to walk your hands forward, lowering your elbows down as far as you can go to get a really nice inside thigh stretch. Good, keep pointing the toes up towards the ceiling and try not to be completely relaxed through the legs. There's a little bit of activation there. Start to press yourself up, bending through the left leg. Bring the left sole of your foot to the inside of your right thigh. Taking your right hand over towards the outside of your left leg and take your left arm all the way up towards the ceiling for another glorious side bend. But a little bit deeper this time as we've got that hand connected over towards that knee. Inhale. Exhale. Good, keeping the legs where they are, just finding your eagle. So your right arm's gonna come underneath your left arm to find your eagle wrap. So wrapping the forearms, the elbows together, and holding on to your front thumb. Lifting up through the fingers, find a little lift through the chest here, and then exhale round the spine, chin to chest, really feeling the stretch for the back of the body. One more moment here. Good, roll yourself up to centre. Lift the arms up towards the ceiling, big deep breath. Exhale, draw the hands to prayer position in front of your chest. Taking your right leg all the way over and take a twist. So your right ankle connects over towards the couple of inches above your left knee. Hug your knee in with the help of your left elbow and twist around towards the right. And then coming back to centre, just untangling the legs, whatever way you make your way into downward facing dog, your choice, whatever feels good. And we'll just take that little sequence on the other side. So the left leg lifts, roll through the ankles a few times. Big deep breath as you lift the heel a little higher, exhale, round the spine, look forward and then step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Drop the right knee down, untuck the toes, three arm circles with your left arm, inhale forward, exhale circles, inhale forward, exhale circle. Last one, really, really enjoy that expansive movement and then pause looking towards the back, your choice to bend up through that knee if you want it a little deeper into that quad. Open the chest. And then releasing the foot, bring the arm all the way up over your head. Wiggle that left foot over towards your right wrist. 
and start to lower your left knee towards your left elbow, then wrist. Start to sit yourself up, adjust the legs if you need to, press and lift, and then exhale, fold into your pigeon pose. Whatever suits you, again, you'll find that one hip is slightly more open than the other, which is perfectly normal, so you might be able to come down quite low on one side and then on the other, it just feels a little bit funky. Again, breathing into that intensity, allowing your thoughts and your troubles to melt away with each exhale. One more big deep breath here, guys. Exhale. If you're all the way down, you're pressing back up onto your hands, you're rolling onto your left bum cheek so that you can open your legs out towards the other side of your mat. I'm going to come around this side again just so that you can see me. Take the hands forward and gently lower yourself down again. You might be able to go a little bit further this time now that we've already warmed up those inside thighs. But you can really allow the upper body to just slump down here. Maybe even round the spine a little bit. Slowly start to bring yourself up. This time bending through the right leg, bringing the right sole of your foot to the inside of your extended left leg. Take your left hand out towards the right knee or the right quad, lifting your other arm all the way up and over for that side bend. Again, maybe looking underneath that top arm or maybe just laying the head and the ear completely relaxed towards the side. And then we're going to take that eagle wrap through our upper body. So bringing your left elbow underneath your right elbow, twisting your forearms like two ropes, grabbing hold of your thumb or your wrist or clapping your hands. Start to have a lift through the fingerprints. Exhale, start to bow the head down, chin to chest, round and feel into the shoulders and the back of the lungs. And then lift their body back up towards centre. Arms float up towards the ceiling. Look up. Hands to prayer position. We're going to take that little twist. So bringing your left ankle now a couple of inches above that right knee. Hug it in with your right elbow. And twist around towards the left. Really using that forearm to pull the knee in tight. And then untangle that, untangle your legs, scoot yourself to the front of your mat, hold on to your knees, a little tuck of the tailbone just to roll yourself down onto your back and give yourself a tight bug hug in. Relaxing the head and the chest back down onto the mat and gently rocking from side to side. Final shape here is happy baby pose. So grabbing the outsides of your feet, keeping the knees bent, reaching and trying to grab the outside of your feet or maybe your calf, or if you can't quite reach there, it's the back of your legs, back of the knees. Heels lifting up towards the ceiling, knees bent and trying to lower down to either side of our body. And you can gently rock from side to side here. I'm just really feeling that heaviness. Coming back to your breath. Good, squeeze your knees in one more time, nice and tight, and then let the legs go long on the mat. Let the feet fall out, palms face up, float the eyes closed and find your Shavasana.
I'll leave this video here, but if you have got some extra time, please feel free to stay in your Shavasana for at least three minutes and just absorb that practice. Thank you for joining me for today. Check out my channel for other videos and subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Namaste.